Hello everyone, in this short tutorial video we are going to figure out how to conduct a cooling load calculation for a building or a living space. In order to calculate the cooling load for a building or a living space, we need to primarily obtain the building characteristics such as size, color, shape, location, orientation, north, south, east, waste of the building which is exposed to the direct sunlight. If the building zone is uh, exposed to the direct sunlight then the heat transfer will be higher. This is an office building as you can see the windows which are facing the east and west then the cooling load calculation for eastern would be different. The second thing has to be considered is the internal heat gains which is generated by people, light, equipment appliances, cooking process and the equipment or materials that will be brought into the building above the inside design temperature. Let's start with internal heat gains from people. People generate both sensible and leading heat components according to the level of activity. The sensible heat rate increases slightly with higher activity but the leading heat increases dramatically because of greater perspiration required to maintain the body temperature. The amount of sensible and leading heat released by the body varies with age, physical size, gender, type of clothing, and level of physical activity. Based on ASHRAE occupancy heat gain equivalency, as you can see, seated and rest 210 BDUs with a leading heat of 140 BDUs. Seated for your light work 230 BDUs with a leading heat of 190 BDUs. Seated light work 255 videos with a leading heat of 255 videos. Standing light work or walking is only generated 315 videos with a leading heat of 325 videos. Doing heavy work or lifting is generated 635 videos with a leading heat of 1165 videos. And the next thing to consider is the internal heat gains from equipment and appliances such as computers, printers, irons, ovens, and everything that can generate heat within the building. Basically, 1 watt is equal to 3.41 BDUs, and BDUs per hour is uh, equal to watts multiplied by 3.41 BDUs. So, there are many types of appliances and equipment in restaurants, schools, office buildings, hospitals, and other types of building which may generate a significant amount of heat that should be accounted for cooling load. The other source that generates heat within the building is lighting, how much lighting, what type of lighting, how many watts of lighting that should be all accounted for cooling load. And the last thing we need to calculate is the solar load. Solar has three components, conduction, transmission, and infiltration. So in this example, due to a small amount of infiltration, we are only going to calculate the conduction and transmission load through the wall and glass. Let's start with the conduction load through the walls to calculate the conduction we are going to be using the equation Q equals U multiplied by A multiplied by C L T D where Q is conductive load through the walls U is thermal transmittance for glass A is area of glass and square feet C L T D is just cooling load temperature difference for walls to calculate the conduction load through the walls we have to find the U value first to calculate the U-value, we have to figure out what R-value is. R-value is the resistance to the flow of heat. Heat always flows from all spaces to cold spaces and it increases the temperature difference. So when the resistance is higher, the amount of heat flows through the materials is lower. So if the R-value is higher, then it will slightly slow down the flow of heat through the materials. So what is a U-value? 
u value is just the reciprocal of r value the u value relates how fast heat flows through a material here is an example i have made for you over on the right look at the solution i've calculated a total r value of 14 Point eight eight. Now to find the u value, we will use the reciprocal of r value. So we put one over fourteen point eight eight uh, equals uh, point zero six seven, and that is our u value for our walls. So we can now calculate the conduction through our walls by using the u value we have just calculated. Q equals point. 067 multiply by 130 multiply by 25 equals 217.7 and that's our conduction for our walls so now let's start with the conduction load through the glass to calculate conduction load we'll use the formula q equals u multiply by a multiply by c l t d where q is conductive load through the glass u is thermal transmittance for glass a is area of glass in square feet and c l t d is just cooling the temperature difference for glass if we drop this number n that comes out a total conduction load of 1000 BTUs through our glass. And the next thing to calculate is the transmission load through the glass. To determine the transmission load, we'll use the formula Q equals A multiplied by AC multiplied by SCL. We use transmission load through the glass, it is area of glass in square feet. AC is shading coefficient and SCL is um, solar cooling load factor. If we drop this number n, that comes out a total transmission load of 9835 BTUs through our glass. So for the west zone, office number 2, number 3, number 4 and the east zone, we'll use the same formula to determine the conduction and transmission load in similar way as we have just done for office number 1 based on the R value, U value, shading coefficient and orientation. And the next thing we have to do is to select the outdoor and indoor design temperature in this example the indoor design temperature we are going to use 75 and the supply design temperature 55 so what's then office number one has a total area of 180 square feet minus 50 square feet for the area of our glass so we now have a total area of 130 square feet for our walls and a total area of 50 square feet for our glass a total wall conduction of 217.7 BTUs 3 people working equivalent to 765 BTUs 4 equipment equivalent to 1702 BTUs a glass conduction load of 1000 BTUs and the glass transmission load of 9835 BTUs. As you can see, I have already calculated for each zone. Now, to determine your CFM, you can use this formula CFM equals BTUs per hour divided by 1.08 multiplied by temp n minus temp out. Adding this all number n that comes out a total ton of 13.77 equals uh, 5509.9 CFM. And here, as you can see, I have made an example for you to select your ender unit for each space. And that's it for today. I appreciate you for watching this video.